RSL fans, good evening and welcome inside of Rio Tinto Stadium. Tonight it's RSL and the Portland Timbers. RSL trying to snap a four-match winless streak while Portland trying to find their first road win of the season. And Gravelboy back in on the right-hand side of the midfield. Then Paolo Jr. up top alongside Alvaro Sabaria. Spencer Zango starting lineup tonight. What do you make of a 4-5-1 alignment? Uh, just two changes. Kimura comes in on the right-hand side. That frees up Jack Jewsbury to come back in the midfield. RSL at home red tonight. Portland in the road green with a white trim. Good crowd here tonight as they chant the belief chant here to begin things here for Real Salt Lake. Portland will begin with possession and we're underway. Glad to have you along with us tonight at Rio Tinto. Bill Riley and Brian Dunseth on the call tonight. Bobby keeping possession well. Strong on the ball tonight. Will Johnson. A drive. Parried over the top by Perkins. Right on frame with that laser shot, Will Johnson. And a corner coming for RSL. That goes back to Javier Morales. His recognition in a split second that Jack Jewsbury was coming off his back shoulder. That little bit of a touch set up Will Johnson. Let's go back to Johnson's shot on the America First replay. And take a look at Javi. Great touch, sliding, sets Will up. No pressure. Watch that ball duck. Ball is just moving. Strikes across it, goes up, comes down. Trent keeps it in to Gill. Oh, great cut by Luis. Top of the box, Beckerman chipping in again. Sabo flick and in! It's a goal for Saborio! 60th minute, one nothing Real Salt Lake. And how about the setup by Kyle Beckerman? Just a floated little ball in. And Saba, who's been so close the last couple of matches, puts it past Perkins. I'll go even further. Let's talk about Luis Gill. Watch him get isolated. Whoop! Right through the legs of Eric Alexander. Brings the ball out, and then it's the decision-making of Kyle Beckerman. He sees Will Johnson and Alvaro Sabarillo sitting in. Johnson pulls away, and we talk about Footy Danzo being big all night long. Look at that placement. Look at that snap header. There is nothing, nothing that Troy Perkins can do about it. Sabo, eighth goal this season, giving RSL the 1 0 lead, 60th minute. Who's tried, trusted, and proven. But then you've also got some little darty players. Guys like my Sabo Sabo again! Header good! He's done it again! The brace for Sabo! And just two minutes later, his second goal and a beautiful setup. And it's 2 0 Real Salt Lake. Well, if 1 0 changed things for John Spencer, 2 0 absolutely does. He's going to have to take some risk. Sabo was on just like he was Wednesday night against Seattle. Gets in behind, lays out, snap header. Perkins get caught on his six, and you see the number 14, Stephen Smith. As an outside back, he's got to recognize where the run's coming from, from Saborio. He's got to tuck in, but it's got to be better from Portland. So tight defensively for 60 minutes. Two mistakes, and for the first time in three weeks, we've seen RSL punishing the mistakes defensively, much like they were punished against LA, San Jose, and Columbus. Incredible opportunity, and that's exactly what Chris Winger did. He didn't play to Sabo's feet, he played to the space. Diego Chara absolutely deserves to be sent off for that. Chara getting into it. Olave now getting into it as well. Horse swinging Olave now, and they're going at it. And Morales still down with the scrum around him. Possession pops out to Gill. Now watch the challenge. From behind, tackle, red card. That's a red card tackle. You're endangering the player. You're endangering... The wrong decision. Oh, he shows a yellow to Will Johnson as well, and to David Horst. Listen, a, a, we continue to talk about protecting players. That is a red card challenge from behind. I understand where Diego Chara is coming from. He feels aggrieved by the challenge where he's on the ground and the ball's being kicked while it's between his legs. You, you want to stamp that out? You start with Mike, Mike, Matt Garger calling that, saying it's a dangerous play, blowing that whistle dead. Stuck with it, got it to Beltran. Well done by Tony. Javi around. Back 
to his left in front. And off horse across the end line. The knocks have not slowed Javier Morales down tonight, and he'll have a corner kick. Always a way to get back the player after he just got leveled from behind. Watch Javi. Isolated. Gets away first. Through the around the legs, excuse me. Little cut back, gets Jewsberry biting, and then looks for that near post. Good defending positioning from David Horse. Portland's marking has been awful tonight on set pieces. Let's see it here on a KFC Colonel's corner kick. Lofted high, top of the six, headed down! Cool. And in! Cool. Is it in? Is Awaiting it, the word from the handball. linesman. Looks like he, he's going to say it's a handball. The ball was set off the line. Now a couple, couple decisions. And so a red card. Yep. It's going to be a handball. And Mark Geiger points to the spot. And Sabo's going to have himself a shot at a hat trick. It looks like it's going to be Diego Char. Keep an eye on the near post, right at the bottom of your screen. He extended his hand. It broke away from the plane of his body. Ball initially, it does cross the line. Watch it drop in. Looks like it bounced on the line, but Diego Chara got caught. And if you're on the line, you, what, your, your role on that near post is to stay as big as possible. Cover that left-hand side of your goalkeeper, Troy Perkins. Perkins on his line. Geiger gives the word. 3-0 Real Salt Lake. Sabarillo's got a hat trick. 75th minute. Good night, Portland. Abro Sabarillo taking his goal scoring total to 10 on the season. This time from the penalty spot. Two fantastic headers. And he takes a beating in the press sometimes. He takes a beating from the fans. But Sabo, oh, yeah. snap header. And he can take a good look. Diego Chara, arm extended on the line. Tries to get away with it. And then up steps Sabo. Perkins goes down to his right. Sabo calmly slots to Perkins' left. 3-0 RSL. Through the 60 minutes of making sure they battled for that second goal. They came in with a tactical idea with that 4-1, 4-1 kind of formation. Bonfilia shot. Oh, big save, Perkins. Beautiful setup by Javi. And Emiliano just about got his second of the season right there. Well, Paul Figley cuts back inside. Stephen Smith hung out to dry again. Looking for that near post. Good save, Perkins down to his left. Near side corner kick for Javier Morales. Three minutes of extra time will be added here. Three minutes. Sabo wide for Javi. Into the box, Javi. Javier around the defender. Perkins with a big save. There, too much from Javi right there. He's, he's trying. You can see he wanted to just scoop around, look to flick that ball to the far post up and over Perkins. Good save by Troy Perkins. Winger. Shot. Off of Dansu. It goes down, and that's that. 90 minutes of soccer have been played here tonight at Rio Tinto Stadium. RSL behind three goals from that man, our Budweiser man of the match, Alvaro Sabarillo, get a big three points here tonight.